Hi there, it's Mr. Hegarty here. Um, I just want to make a quick video to say best of luck for tomorrow. I know it's a stressful time for you. Best of luck. I want to give you 10 very quick tips to just help you through the process tomorrow. One overarching tip. Have a bit of confidence. Believe in yourself tomorrow. If you've worked hard, things are going to be okay. And, you know, all you can do is try your best. So if you've tried your best and you try your best tomorrow, well, you can be proud of yourself. So here's some quick tips. Firstly, stay calm. Stay calm before the exam, stay calm tonight, don't panic, okay? You can only do your best tomorrow, and the calmer you are, the the better your brain will, will perform tomorrow. There will be some nerves, but don't let those nerves get on top of you. Two, read the questions really carefully tomorrow. There's no rush in that exam, there's plenty of time, so take your time to read questions and highlight keywords. Let me give you an example. Here, I want to look at this one here. Factorize okay and then there's another word fully now if I read that really carefully factorize means put into brackets now fully means that I'm going to have to factorize a number and some algebra so in this case I look at what's the common factor of 3 and 6 and I know it's 3 and then I look at the algebra and I think what's a common factor of xy squared and xy well it's xy then what I do is factorizing out the 3xy, what must go here, it must be y, what must go here, it must be negative 2. Now reading that question really carefully, the fully was important. It told us we had a number and we had some algebra to factorize out. So you've got to read super carefully. Next one, double check every single thing you do in that exam. It's not a race to the finish line in an exam. You can take your time and double check. Let me give you an example, exactly like the one we just did here. A common mistake students do, they're really stressed out, they're under pressure, and they go, yeah, yeah, I know these ones, 2m times m is 2m squared, boom, uh, plus 3. Now, what did they do wrong there? They forgot to do 2m multiplied by the 3, and that would have given me plus 6m, okay? So when you've just done your first answer, just have another go in your head and go, that times that, that times that, yeah, and it might bring up an error for you. In particular here, let me give you another example. We already did this question and we said it factorized to the following. Okay, now how could you check that? Well, you could expand it out and double check you got the same answer. So before you move on, double check everything and check for sense. Now, there is no need to rush on this paper. There's plenty of time. There's up to an hour and 45 minutes in most GCSE for this paper. So don't rush, slow down, don't get in a panic and just take your time and get stuff right rather than rushing to the end and, and getting half the paper wrong. Number five, work till the very end, double checking everything one more time. I remember when I did my exam, a boy who used to sit next to me used to put his head on the desk the minute he finished the paper. He thought it was a race to the finish line. He'd put his head in the desk and have a nap. When I see that or if I see my students do that, it just, uh, I can't accept that or abide that. You need to try and rework every question till the very end and until um, that examiner or that um, p adjudicator has to take the paper from your desk and from your hand. You work till the end because that very second of last work you're doing and double check it could be the mark to get you the next grade. Now, here's a really key thing. Confidence is so important in maths and in life. Imagine you open up the paper tomorrow and the first question is something you don't know. This is what students can do. They sit and look at that for 20 minutes and get totally worked up and then they think they're going and then all the other questions afterwards they don't do as well in. If you open up that paper tomorrow and you see the first question and you can't do it, just temporarily leave it. Don't panic. There's plenty of time. There's no need to rush and go on and do the next question or the next one you can do. Sometimes it might even be good for some students to open the paper and find a stem and leaf question or something they're really good at and start off with that one. What, how, what your, how your brain works is your brain will be thinking over that problem and when you come back to it at the end, it may have thought something through for you. So don't panic. If that first question or one of the early questions throws you, just leave it out, mark it, give it a mark to make sure you come back to it. Don't panic, just move on and do something you can do. Confidence is key here. Don't let yourself get flustered. Here's a really important one. Write inside the page space and show all your workings. Here's an example here. Now, 
l let me give you an example of something that gets no marks. Say students do some work here, they just do something like that, and they oh they go oh I've made a mistake here, and say they start the working over here. That is outside the limit. You see this border here. It is outside where you're allowed to write on the paper and you will not get any marks for that at all. It must be within the working. So be really neat when you're doing some working. Say you start off here and you go 3y take away 2. Oh, I wrote it the wrong way around. Fine. Let's start over here. 3y subtract 2 is bigger than or equal to negative 8. Show all your working. In this case, you would add 2 to both sides and you would say that 3y is bigger than or equal to negative 6. Then you would divide both sides by 3 and you would say that y is bigger than or equal to negative 2. Write your answer on the line given to you to make it easy for the examiner. Make them like you. They've got to mock thousands of scripts so make yours nice and neat and easy to read and you will be absolutely fine in that regard. Okay. So next one. Show your units. If it asks you volume, the units may be centimetres cubed or metres cubed. If it's asking you speed, it might be metres per second or kilometres per hour. Always write your unit. When, when some of my students say the answer is eight, sir, I say eight what? Eight monkeys? Eight what? Eight apples? Eight centimetres cubed? Eight centimetres, etc. There's a lot of marks going for that and don't forget to do that. Also something I, I just thought of here, round appropriately. If they tell you to round to 1dp, there's a mark for that. Round to 1dp at the end. Have a go and get some marks, guys. Sometimes you can get marks for just having a go and being sensible and reading the question carefully. Don't leave blank spaces. At the end, if you are stuck, have a go at everything. And last thing is use that formula book, guys. There's a lot of good information in here. Here it is. It tells you the volume of a prism, the volume of a sphere, the surface area of a sphere, the sine and cosine rule, the area of a general triangle, the area of a trapezium, which comes up quite a lot, volume of a cone, curved surface area, and the quadratic equation, which is a popular question. And it's there for you, so you don't have to remember it. Okay, so make sure you do that. And just you know, you, you may be deciding to work hard tonight. Do get some sleep so your brain's good for tomorrow. Do eat in the morning so you've got some energy inside you. And I'm wishing you the very best of luck. Follow those 10 tips just for generic um, practice. Now, I'm not going to tell you what's going to come up tomorrow. I don't know. There's no point asking me. You can't predict what's going to come up tomorrow. Anything can. But just try your best. Give it your best shot and you'll be fine. Just at the end, if you do have 30 seconds, you know I'm in this Pitch to Rich competition right now. If you could vote, um, there's a link on the website on HegartyMaths.com and that is the link you can vote at. If you were to vote, that would be awesome. Maybe you're having a cup of tea during your revision tonight. If you did um, think Hegarty Maths has helped you and you want to vote, please do spare 30 seconds. But going back to this, good luck for tomorrow. I wish you all the best. I wish you a lot of strength for tomorrow. Be calm. Be considered, think, don't rush, and don't panic if something throws you. If you've worked hard, you can be successful tomorrow and you'll get what you deserve. Take care, guys. Best of luck.